The Boys Season 3 dropped earlier this month, and as it did so, introduced us to yet another new character known as The Legend, played by veteran actor Paul Reiser. The character is a parody of legendary comic book and Marvel creator Stan Lee, and Reiser delighted fans with his appearance. Today, we are discussing Reiser making his debut as The Legend on Season 3 of The Boys, so don't go anywhere. First up, let's look at Reiser's career so far. It may surprise you to know that Reiser actually started his career as a stand-up comedian, before bagging a role in the 1982 movie Diner as a stand-up comedian. He then appeared in the mega-successful Beverly Hills Cop, also appearing in the sequel, and then found himself playing Carter Burke in James Cameron's Aliens. He then appeared in a few films in the 90s and 2000s, before appearing in the hit 2014 movie Whiplash, in which he plays the father of Miles Teller's character. However, it is his career in TV for which he is probably more well-established, especially with the younger generation, having appeared in the last three seasons of hit Netflix sci-fi drama Stranger Things as Dr. Sam Owens. His character works at the Department of Energy, replacing Brenner as director at the Hawkins Lab. Reiser also appeared in his own show, The Paul Reiser Show, back in 2011, and has since appeared in shows such as Married, playing the character of Shep, Red Oaks as Doug Getty, and The Kaminsky Method as Martin Schneider. He also appeared in the hit Kevin Hart movie Fatherhood last year, playing the part of Paul. Most recently, Reiser has appeared in The Boys, and will also be stopping by as Gordon in Reboot, which is set to drop later this year. What have you guys made of Reiser's career so far? Let us know below. Next up, we're discussing his recent appearance on The Boys. Stay with us. Fans of hit show The Boys will have been delighted with the introduction of a new character when Season 3 dropped earlier this month, as Paul Reiser stopped by to play iconic comic book character The Legend. The character is actually a parody of the late Marvel legend Stan Lee, created by Garth Ennis and Derek Robertson, who got the name of the character absolutely spot on, given the man they were parodying. During the show's run, just before the fifth episode, Amazon explained that Reiser will be introduced as The Legend legend in this week's episode titled The Last Time to Look on This World of Lies. The show's creators, who boast a certain Seth Rogen as executive producer, decided not to give too much away about the genesis of the legend, other than the fact that he was an iconic fan-favorite character from the original comic book series. The show is yet to wrap its third season, which will be all tied up by July 8th, but fans will be delighted to know that they could be set for more appearances of the legend, as it has just been renewed for a fourth season, which we're big fans of. When the news came through that the show had been renewed, Vernon Sanders of Amazon Studios said, We're just really excited. I've been thrilled to be witness to all of the magic that Eric and the team have created, and I'm really excited about more of the genre content that we have coming. We are the new place for genre. We're discussing how it could have all been so different now. Stay with us. Riser recently took time out from his busy schedule to discuss his role as the legend on The Boys, but some fans might be surprised to know that he had some reservations about playing the character when it was first brought to his attention. He admitted it was a little inappropriate, saying, I thought, oh, this is something else. This is really wild. My 21-year-old son, who is really into the world and loves the show, I had to go to him like, so they're on purpose being this disgusting? Okay, so that's different. He went on to reveal how he was worried about how violent, graphic, and horrific it would be, but was then assured when he realized that the creative minds in charge really know what they're doing. And rather surprisingly, Riser even admitted he'd never even heard of the show. However, his son and his friends were big fans, and he even went on to say that he could never create something like that, not even in a million years. He also mentioned how there were a couple of things he wasn't completely comfortable with at the beginning, but after moving some things around and getting rid of a few more, Riser and the crew agreed on the direction they would go with the character. Riser finished by explaining that that's a great environment to be invited to when actors are allowed to give input. What did you guys make of this? Next up, Riser has been responding after fan reactions to his appearance in The Boys. As we know, Riser has recently stopped by in The Boys and, of course, fans have had their say on the veteran actor's appearance. After he was brought in as Bot's former head of hero management in Episode 5, fans went wild and Riser was delighted with some of their reactions to his work on the show. After admitting he knew precious little about the show before getting the gig, he referenced the positive feedback he's gotten so far, saying, It's so funny to me that it's getting this lovely response, people so enjoying the character and loving this season. I have friends who are passionate about this show, they just can't stop watching it. I mean, it must be quite a thrill to receive wide-ranging plaudits for your work. Riser also discussed how all this furor was funny to him, because that's so not my world. He also went on to explain that he is delighted that fans have been so welcoming of him. And of course, the work he did before the show, researching something that he knew very little about, will have gone down well with the show's fan base. What have you guys made of the fan reactions to Riser's The Legend? We're discussing the show's subtle political leanings now. Stay with us. There's a school of thought that suggests that fictional shows, especially those of a superhero nature, should stay well away from politics. But hey, it's 2022, am I right? And with season 3 underway, the show is currently being touted as having some of the worst fans out there. Ouch! Some fans have twigged 
intrigued that the show's main villain this season is actually a villain and bears some pretty striking resemblances to Donald Trump, and some right-wing fans aren't particularly happy with this portrayal. The villain, known as Homelander, has been given a right-wing news slot on the satirical show, in which he says some pretty outlandish stuff. He also comes across as pretty out of his depth, while also engaging in some self-destructive practices, which some have said directly relates to the Donald himself. Showrunner Eric Kripke recently had this to say on Homelander, informing fans that all he ever wants is to be the most powerful person he can be, even though he's completely inadequate in his abilities to handle it. So it's white male victimization and unchecked ambition, and those issues just happen to reflect the guy who, it's just still surreal to say it, was expletive president of the United States. However, as much as the far right is the butt of many a joke on the boys, it's not as if they hadn't been warned. The comic book it is based off is a direct response to George W's post-9-11 policies. What do you guys make of this? And finally, something as equally funny as it is disgusting. Stay tuned. The Boys has, in parts, pushed the boundaries this season, and one of the stars of the show, Carl Urban, has recently stopped by to provide us with a pretty funny anecdote from filming of the Herogasm episode, which aired last week. The episode sees some pretty explicit content, depicting a giant superhero orgy, and of course some of the scenes saw the characters hit in the face with some questionable goo, which according to Urban, didn't last long. Of course, some fans might have been quite surprised at the content of the show, and Urban spoke of that exact point, saying, Listen, I think that every single season you get to a juncture where you're like, how can we possibly get away with this? And this season, it became pretty apparent that everything was dialed up. And he's right. We all know what we're getting with the boys, and Urban went on to explain how there's just more of everything this season. He's also suggested that the content of this season has pushed some departments to their limits, as well as running out of the questionable substance we saw on last week's episode. They also ran out of fake blood on episode 3. Oh dear, are you a fan of this season of the boys? As usual, thanks for stopping by today, and remember to join us again next time when we will be discussing all sorts of fun bits and pieces. And also, remember to subscribe to our channel. Bye guys!